Okay, okay. I think we're about ready. <clears throat> Here, let me see. Okay. Let me swap it over. I was just thinking you'd show up. <clears throat> All right. We got this. So, uh, I did a little bit of grinding yesterday. <clears throat> I have enough to get poltergeist, and I have a bunch of zenny. So, with that in mind, we need to go buy some things and get some programs done, and you know we'll, we'll take a we'll take a look. But first, let's start with looking at the. Okay, no, we buy that at end area, I believe. And M cannon, we also buy an M area, <clears throat> end area. But yeah, right now we're just gonna see what we can get. If I have to do more money grinding, then that's how it is. We'll save Gunsoul 3 for later. Because I'm going to see if I can try to get it in Undernet. Uh, let's see. Cannonball, Grassy, Wide Blade, Varsar, Windrack. Uh, Drone 3, Scully 3N. Where am I? Where am I going? Festival Tube, or Asteroid. Okay. So there's that. Was that the only one I was buying? Before we buy these two on the net. We, we bought this one. And then the last one we have to do. Okay. So we need to go to end area. Uh, while I am here, apparent I missed some. I, I missed a lot of things. Apparently, uh, I have I have like some stuff pulled up. But right now, I missed something. Uh, if you take a look at the showcase again, uh, the different part. Solar Boy Django sells for seven. Original Django. This one had Number Ball. This one had Solar Boy. Oh, bubble wrap. I already... How much money do I have? Yeah, I probably have enough. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if that will pair well with anything, but hey, I have it. And I already had one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh... Yeah, you know what sucks? When the shop first opened, I examined these and nothing popped up. So it was obviously a story thing. That's annoying. Uh, right now, though, let's go to end area one and then find out I just spent too much money. Oh wait, do I have... I don't have a lock enemy. I'm probably gonna need one. But for now, let's just start with this. Oh, can I get that? I actually, no. Wait, you know what? Actually, I might be able to. Hold on. I might be able to get it. Start with the Invis. I got rid of the fire guy. That's what matters the most. Alright, now... Let's see. I could go Dark Toad Man and then use these up. Obviously, I won't be using the White Shot. There we go. I probably could have just used fire hit and be done with it. I don't know. Got some extra zenny. That's what really matters. Okay, let's check the shop. 
right? Uh, I don't need a fight. I don't need to fight this. Yeah, I spent time in Nebula Area 1 just grinding for bug frags and zenny. Alright. Vulcan 3. L, it's cheaper than Higsby's to get it here. M cannon. And with that, that is all of the... That right there is every single program advance, except for one which we need to get in under net. Which we should buy an unlocker for. Uh... Not unlocker, a lock enemy for. I'm gonna go buy a lock enemy back in ACDC. I am also gonna go to Scilab 3. Also, how many of these do I have? We stop on that. Alright. We're gonna need unlockers. Let's go to Scilab 3 and get pulled to you guys. Just get that done. Obviously, we're going to need to do more bug frag grinding at some point, but for now, we're just getting Poltergeist. Oh, I'm dumb. This is not where I wanted to go. I... Uh, my bl I don't know why, my brain just went to autopilot. Because how often do I actually go to Scilab? We will need more Zenny to buy HP memories and lock enemies, but that's about it. I can't think of what... Other than maybe buying one uh, Gun Soul 3... Which, that costs a lot. I technically don't... I don't have the Zenny for it. It costs a lot. Okay, Scilab 3. Cloud Man could be here. He could show up and wreck my day. I'm not gonna really fight much here. All right, let's first buy Poltergeist. We need that. Okay, every other bug frag we get needs to go to one of the traders. Now, when I did the math for the bug frags in Undernet 2, I need 146. That was not counting any of these, so I'm gonna throw these in. I wanna get a total. 26 40 Is that it? 254 bug frags to get everything else That's a lot of bug frags We'll probably end up doing a couple sessions But Hell, I'll probably just try to get more bug frags on my own time But We got that That's another mega chip Okay, what's next? Let's get the three program advances done. Yeah, let's get these three done. F, G, H. And then there will only be one more program advance. Okay. I, I should still have float shoes, so I can be completely safe. Come on. I, I still want to get rid of one. There we go. I am completely safe. You can't do anything to me. Oh, look. Two out of three. Let's get rid of this. Okay. 
can't do anything to me. F G H. Program advance. Giga Cannon 3. 600 damage. Single target. All right. Vulcan 3. L M N. Okay. Uh, I could just use Guardian and get rid of most of them. Yeah. And weaken the other two. Hell, I'll probably take out one of them. And we'll just leave it at that. Let's get rid of chips. And get my Vulcans. Guess I'm getting rid of that. I don't think there's another bug frag trader. I think it's just the two, so. Uh, I can't remember any other bug frag traders. Alright. Let's see. We can get rid of bodyguard. Advance bodyguard, but not what I need, so we're just gonna leave it be. Imagine using Dark Number Man for that. Ooh. Okay, here we go. L, M, and N. Program Advance, Infinite Vulcan 3. Again. Oh, no plus additive. Okay. It just keeps going. Alright. Adding Infinite Vulcan with Dark Number Man. That's insane. Okay. Last one at the moment. S. T. U. Code man, so I can get rid of more. Just hang out back here, get rid of you. Um, I could go dark number man. But first, let's just get rid of some chips. Get rid of even more chips. Do that. I want him to use up his healing. Okay, Dark Number Man. We'll use up both of these. Let's see. I only have two. Dark Toad Man. Let me get rid of these. He can. Well, he can eventually hit me. Alright. Get rid of Chaos Lord. Alright. 
This is going to be the slow process. Basically one at a time now. This is this is bad. I'm trying to get you to use up your healing. Number man, there we go. Let's get rid of that, sure. Use your healing. There it is. Okay. Still only have two out of three. and you. Program Advance, Shake Parade 3. 140 damage per hit. Alright. Let me put my folder back to how it was. We need one more program advance. And that is the Django one, which we need to get two Gunsoul 3s in Undernet from Battle Mystery Data. We could buy one of them. But other than that, that's the last one. We need 11 more Mega Chips, which we could get one after we get the last program advance. Actually, okay. I remember something. Let's go to Oron Area 3. Making a save now. There's a lot of things that apparently I missed. Like, I am honestly kind of shocked. So, like, in some ways I'm doing, like, that type of cleanup right now. Take it. I'll take the single bug fragment. I don't need to go to that shop. Run from this fight. Is it? Who is it? Okay, good. I didn't really want to fight Shadow Man. Not yet. I know I'm going to have to. Alright, Oran Area 3. I th think I know who I need to talk to. Wait, is it you? Bad Folder. Yes, I actually want this. Or is it, it you know, I think it's called Evil Folder. But I do want this, and there's a reason for it. we look in here, we find Blizzard Man, Shade Man, and Cloud Man Dark Soul chips. With those in there, they get added into this. Let's see, Dark Soul, Dark Soul, Dark Soul. We still would need to fight Cosmo Man. We still need to get Cosmo Man's uh, SP Dark Soul chip. There are two ways of getting it. So I, I'm going to point out that when it comes to the four Nebula Navis, 
you have if you just want the chips there is no reason to actually go onto the net and get them to spawn in like in as random encounters because look if you redo the ACDC liberation mission by being very good you could get blizzard man sp by doing okay you get blizzard man and then you just need to get this bad folder and you get darks the dark side chip now you won't be able to power up the blizzard man sp chip unless you fight them and get a new record shade man sp shade man shade man sp work the same way cloud man and cloud man and sp work the same way just do their liberation mission a couple times be really good and you'll get their sp and normal chips same thing with cosmo man now with dark chips it with dark chips this is interesting in nebula in the three nebula area ones i was very good in all three of them that's how i got uh blackwing muramasa and anubis however if you just do okay on the first one you could get shade man dark soul chip permanently so there's a reason to actually do that on the second one you get cloud man dark soul and you get cosmo man dark soul for doing the last one granted there isn't a way to a get blizzard man dark soul that way so if you want to actually have the chip you have to fight him on the net so that's interesting so all we need to look for is cosmo man dark soul that's all we need to actually look for now and we can either just find him randomly in under net four and just try to do good against him or we do the final nebula mission again either way But yeah, we're going to need the SP chips. We're going to need to S rank all six of them. And we just need, out of this list of mega chips, we need the last one. And that would be from getting every one of these. One more. All right. And you know what? Let's. I have a map pulled up for Squirrel Comp. Let's take a look through here, because I know I missed stuff. I'll just deal with the random encounters. So, we want to go. I want to make sure I get everything. So, let's go this way first. Squirrel Comp 2. We want to go to 3. Apparently, this set of pathways does not go into the other side. You know, wait a minute. I'm going to be honest. I'm looking at this layout for the map. It kind of makes me think that it's like how Battle Network 1 was set up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so er number three, we get 100 Zenny. Not that great. We want to go to... That's area four... Let's go to Squirrel Comp 5 very quick. Because I knew I was going to be missing stuff in the hair. I knew it. I knew I was missing stuff. Okay, Squirrel Comp 5. There is... Charge plus 1. I'd rather have charge than speed. I'd rather have a faster charge shot. There we go. Okay, now let's head back. Let's go to Squirrel Comp 4. We get 200 Zenny. Let's take the left path. This is Squirrel Comp 6. In here, we get... Gunsoul 1. A. I don't know if I had that before, but I'm just grabbing the blue mystery data. So I'm going to admit, this is a little less confusing than Water God. This really is when I'm actually looking at the map, but it's not as 
obvious when you're actually playing through it. All right, score number seven. Nothing in here. Here we get the HP memory. I had a feeling something like that was going to be in here, but I completely missed it. Okay. Jack out. We're going back in, and we're going to check the other side. Just in case I missed stuff, and I probably did. Okay. Now we're going to take the right path. Area 9. If you're playing the DS version, there's a blue mystery data in here. But not in the GBA version. It's a program that specifically boosts your partner navvies when you're liberation missions for navvy customizer, but you can't do that here because, you know, not playing the DS version. How did I not get that? Oh, you know what? I probably went around the sides. Okay. So... Now I want to go to the right side. We're in area 12. Let's get past area 12. Let's get past area 12. Score comp 15. In here we get... Fast Barrier, that's a Navicus program. Let's head back. Maybe I should have Sneak Run, I don't know. Okay, let's head back. We only need... What, 10 more HP memories? I'm gonna need a few. I wonder if I just need to buy them all. Actually, no. I'm pretty sure there's some I'm missing somewhere. Okay, back to score comp 10. We'll, we'll take the other path to 11. And I got the green mystery, the blue mystery data that was here that had 400 zenny. Okay, let's take the left path. If you take the right path, you'll end up in 14, and then you'll get to 16, which was the progress. And here is the reg up one. Out of all the blue mystery data in here, I only got one of them. That's hilarious. But yeah, if you go back, you take the other pathway, that leads to the story navy. So that's everything in Squirrel Comp. That's everything here. Uh, we'll skip that for a second. Lotto numbers. Apparently, the list I looked up for lotto ticket numbers, there was a lot missing. I am not going to go through every lotto number here, because I actually don't know which ones I have or haven't done. I'll do the ones where I think I need to double check or see again. So, make this... So, there's a lot I'm not going to go through. Six, zero, seven, three, six, zero. This is anti-electric star. One, two, three, eight, seven, seven, four, six, seven, three, eight, seven, seven, four, six, six gets you. Anti Fire Star. I'm pretty sure I have that, so let's check. Okay, two, five, four, six, five, two, seven, eight. Anti Water Star. One, zero, one. Three, three, 
six, seven, zero. Okay, anti wood star. I wanted to get all those very quick. Let's do some Navicus parts. I think I got this one, but I'm gonna double check. Six, three, two, three, one, eight, seven, zero. I think I did this one, but I'm double checking. Never mind. Attack max. I did not get that one. Okay. Seven, nine, eight, seven, seven. One, three, two. I've already entered that one. Okay, that was beat. The Navi Customizer program. Three, zero, one, one. Two, zero, zero, two. I didn't have that one. Body Pack Nav Navi Customizer program. I don't know if I did this one. I might as well double check. Five, zero, three, six, four, four, one, zero. Bug fist, fix star, just to have. Why not? Okay. Eight, zero, two, four, six, seven, five, eight. Okay, Buster Pack. Navicus program. Let's take a look. Eight, seven, four, one, two, one, four, six. I might have done this one. Oh, nope, I didn't. Charge Max. Okay, Navicus program. Um, one, four. Five, five, nine, five, five, eight, seven. Custom two program. Good. Let's see. I know I did some of these. I'm skipping some of them. I'm skipping the sub chip ones because I know I don't need them. I know I did that one. Okay, more Navicus programs that I don't know if I did or not. Three one zero eight four 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 three HP plus fifty nine zero six three zero eight zero seven. HP plus 200. Again, I don't know where you're supposed to get most of these. Probably through anime strategy guides, among other things. Uh, okay. Four, eight, seven, eight, five, six, two, five. HP plus 300. One, three, nine, two, six, five, six, one. Another HP plus three hundred, different color. Zero, three, four, one, nine, eight, nine, three. HP plus four hundred. Okay, I think this is the one that I did. But I'll double check. Four, five, six, five, four, one, two, eight. This one apparently was given to you in End City by the Buddha statue. He's kind of hidden. Yeah, I got this one. Double checking. Five zero Okay, five zero nine zero six six five two 
HP plus 500. 7, 2, 8, 4, 6, 4, 7, 2. Nav HP plus 500. I'm skipping some of the sub chips. I would normally do them, but I'm gonna be honest because I did this earlier and I don't remember which ones I did it didn't do. Ugh, it's just kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, nine, seven, five. One, three, six, four, eight. Mega folder two. I might have done this one, but let's check. Zero, nine, six, zero, nine, eight, zero, seven. Okay, I did this one already. This was Rush, the Navicus program. Two, eight, two, five, six, three, Four, one. Soul, uh, like soul time or soul tuner, whatever, plus one. Okay. Three, six, six, nine, five, four, nine, seven. Speed max, okay. Okay, these are important. One, two, five, four, one, eight, eight, three. I'm pretty sure I don't have these. Spin blue. Seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, seven, two, eight. Spin green. Three, zero, three, five, six, four, five, one. Spin red. Uh, and we're going to check one more. Five. Four, two, eight, eight, seven, nine, three. I already got that one. That was Tango, the Navicus program. There are more in here, but because I have no idea which ones I activated or not, and most of them are chips that I already have and or not, like or sub chips that I don't necessarily need, I think I'll be fine. I would normally do all of them, but ugh. Thanks, internet. Okay. I am going to close that page. That helps a lot. Okay. Let me see, what do I have here listed? Okay, so another thing that I found out. Apparently, the compression is back. I didn't know this. Nothing in the game says you could do this. So, let's start compressing some stuff. I should probably wait until I get all of them, but going forward, we can get uh, all of them as I go, I guess. Oh, we're going to need a lot more Zenny because I'm now realizing I could buy a lot more. But for now, we'll just do what we can. So let's remove custom one. Apparently, there's uh, another one I'm missing from the Undernet 3 program dealer. Actually, maybe I should wait a little bit. You know what? I, I'm going to wait on the compression just for a minute. How much money do I have? I have plenty of Zenny. I already got the lock enemy. Uh, 
from... So we can get the... Okay. There's one in under net three. And then the... And then Oron three program dealer? That I could have bought stuff at. Okay. Let's use my money on that. We're taking care of some cleanup that I didn't realize I needed to do. Granted, I knew about the programs. I knew I would have to go back and buy them, but I kind of forget about some of the program dealers. We're gonna need to go HP memory hunting soon. I know I'm going to need a lot of money to buy some of the ones I'm missing. And that's where probably a good chunk of them are. But I know there's not going to be 10 in the shops. So I'm missing some HP memories and I have no clue where they are. Because one of the doors in Undernet... In Undernet... Uh, no, not Undernet. Nebula Area 4, the one that says achieve pa max power or something, it means get every HP memory. And even if you use Dark Chips to lower your HP, you'll still get it. You just need to make sure to get every HP memory in the game. Oh, I messed that up. I thought he would move. Hey, fine. I want the green mystery data. What can I say? Yeah, I'd rather have charge. I want the faster charge shot. Okay, a single bug frag, but that's okay. Program to yours farther up. All right, what can I buy? Let's just start from the top, I guess. Auto heal. Okay. Let's buy mega folder. You can't compress these. So that's fine. And I might as well buy this. That's all my money. I'm gonna need to do a money session. Thinking about it, what's going to be more important? Okay, hold on. So, Navi Customizer, the Oron 3 area program dealer just has the pl uh, some of the ones we can't compress. I'll worry about that later. And then there's the Undernet 3 program dealer. Let me double check. So I have four mystery data. Undernet two bug frack trader. Scilab area two brew mystery data. I think the rest are most likely gonna be dealers. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's something else. Okay. While we do need a money grind, there's some side quests we can continue working on. So, there's a chip trader. Oh, wait, we don't have anti-damage F, do I? That's going to be an issue. Where's anti-damage? Because I know I have... Oh, I do have anti-damage F. Perfect! Okay, let's go to End City. There's, like, some side quests we could do. Okay. We want to go to the Helmet. Okay. There is a trade we could do here. 
Anti-damage F for my anti-damage. It's the Navi Customizer program. And here's another one that I guess I missed. Let me check. Do I have multiple? And even if I don't, I might do the trade anyway. Uh, okay, I have six fists of justice. That's perfect. I, I So I guess there is a reason to get another fist of justice. So we want to go... What am I doing? Not Scilab. We want to go to the old computer that's in Higsby's back room. Is it one of them? One of those two? Reading it's a Navi in here. Okay, either in the bottom corner it's one of these two. Oh, come on. So if you wanted to fight Shakies, this would be a great place to fight them right here. Trade your Justice 1 for my Soul Cleanse. So there's a reason to go get another one. Soul Cleanse is a program. Now, as I'm looking at this, there is a trading sequence. We did start this. And I guess I didn't... I clearly did not do the whole thing. And I... Okay. You could complete this whole thing. I might actually suggest you don't complete the whole thing. But, we're going to do some of it. So, if you recall, uh, on the ship, at the bridge, there's the kid that wanted to trade Slow Gauge for North Wind. Slow Gauge Star. That's Slow Gauge you get in, in Green Mystery Data in Battle and End Area, so you could get an infinite amount. That's fine. You can start that, and you'll get North Wind. If you go to... Wine case, wine case, wine case. There we go. You could continue the trade. If you talk to... Not you. You're drunk, not you. Not you. There's someone in here. Okay, here we go. We talk to you. Hey there. Northwind Star, if you do, grab Revenge F. Yes, we'll do that. Because I'm not going to use Northwind, honestly. And you, maybe you'll recall I was looking for a trade in Oren Island. Apparently that's what this was. And I'm going to tell you right now, there isn't much reason to actually fully complete this chain of events. And I'll explain why here in a sec. But I'm going to do some of this. Apparently there's a man here now. I've traveled searching the globe for Grab Revenge F, but no luck. I see you have lots of chips. Do you have Grab Revenge? I'll trade you Vdal T for it. Okay. Now, the next one... Oh, come on. Okay, now we need to continue the trade. Apparently, we need to go into Squirrel Comp. We need to go to Squirrel Comp 6, so that's the left path. I think... Is that all the way at the end? I don't remember. Oh, it's near the end, I think. Okay. So 
will come three. If I go this way, that leads to four. Is that what I wanted? This leads to five. There's six. Okay, we made it to six. There is a Navi in here. Navi and score comp six. Where are you? Let's see. There's... Okay, there he is. I can't find it anywhere. I'm history if I don't get my hands on Vidal T. Hey, you there. Do you have Vidal T? You see, I lost the Vidal T a friend lent me. And now it's time to get it back. If he finds out I lost his ship, I'm... I'm... If you have a Vidal T, would you trade it for my anti-damage star? So now I have two anti-damage stars. I am not going to continue the quest. I'm actually going to not continue that, because apparently, so now with Anti-Damage Star, there is a lady in the Gargoyle Castle now. Let's take a look. I know it's not you. No, nothing here. Let's see if we can find her at the very least. No. Yeah, right now I just want to find her. See if we can... No. Oh. Huh. I don't know why. There seemed like there was something there. Kind of seemed like something blocked the way for a second. Anything? Okay, it says Lady in Gargoyle Castle. Not the comp, though. So, probably one of the earlier ones. But, hmm. Let's. Okay, I'll double check. You just want to give me the folder. I don't want that. Oh, it's you. Hey, you. Do you have anti-damage star? If you do, would you trade for my dark invis eye? No. So that's how... Apparently, that's how you're supposed to get dark invis. But, if you recall, there is the the lotto code to get a star variant of Dark Invis. And that one's better. <laughs> Why would you want the eye variant when you could get a star variant? So, by not completing the quest, you could get a second anti-damage star. If I don't want... Here's the thing, if I don't want to try to go for this uh, bodyguard, I might just replace anti-navi with it. But we'll, but for now, we'll be fine. I'll leave it there. So I'm not going to complete that. Let me see. Is there anything else in this list right here? The hide and seek guide, quiz, nebula IDs. I already got those. Okay, there's one other, like, side quest in this list that we could do. But I think we might save it for a little bit later. Not much longer, but we'll save it for a little later. Um, I might. Okay. So, how about... Okay, let's go to... How much money do I have? Ooh. I need... Okay. Either I want to do another money grinding session, because I, apparently I wasted a lot of it. 
in Nebula, or I'm going to... So, do a money grinding session so I can get a total of two uh, lock enemies. Or we just get the gun sold done and over with. I don't know. Spent a lot of money. I'm gonna need to spend more. Let's check the net dealer that's here. Or the program dealer, I mean. And we are looking for a fight with uh, green mystery data. And a good one, too. One that we can easily... Ooh, Element Rage. One we can easily lock enemy to. Okay. Okay. I can't really... I can... You know what? I can make this work. It's gonna be hard, but I can make it work. And I failed that. But it might not be the worst, honestly. This might not be the worst fight, it's just gonna have some issues. Oh, duh. Worth it. I could use that fight. I'm not sure, though. Okay, so fish, another custom one, and bug stop. I should at least buy those three. Does this have uh, a list of all in-battle green mystery data? The site. That'd be nice. Run rates, war companies, battle green mystery day. Let me see if I can. No, this is just telling me all the rewards from them. But this isn't going to tell me all the battle formations, all the enemy formations, enemy guys. Hold on. Let me take a look. Is this page gonna load? Okay, there we go. Uh, not... Okay, no, not really. Okay, no, that's not helpful. Not for what I need. Um... What about area, area info? Mac? Area guy? Because last time I clicked on an area, and it showed all of them. Let's try... Not dungeon. Ah, oh, here we go. Under it. Under it. Let's try under it 3. If I click on that, what happens? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. This is actually a pretty good list. So, in under it 3, I'm going to be honest... That. No, wait. Nebula area closed. Oh, I see. I see. That fight is probably my best shot in Undernet 3. Let me check the other areas. Because maybe there'll be an easier fight. There's actually one in four that's actually not that bad. It can easily be dealt with. There's actually two and four that can work. Okay, we might hang out in four. Let me check the others. Undernet two. 
No, not that one. No, I'm, I'm not liking the ones in two. No, I'm not liking that one in one. Actually, Undernet 1 is not that bad. Okay, I'll take it. Let's go to Undernet 1. Let's go to Undernet 1. That one can easily be avoided and man not manipulated, but like... There are easy ways to not actually break the green mystery data. And it's Colonel. Hi. I did not want him to actually fight you. Not yet. I will, though. Let's have my safety net. Don't want to actually use it, though. Oh! Okay, that was a big delay. Okay. Molly, stop. You're fine. Maybe I used Invis too soon, but... There we go. Now let's... Let's get him confused again. Oh, okay. I forget, he keeps, he keeps that going. Times two, but oh, I got hit. Okay, stop that. And Chaos Lord. Let's see. There we go. What did we get? I'll take it. Dark Soul. Now we only need to worry about his SP chip. That's helpful. Okay, Undernet 1. Let's go. Might as well check for green mystery data while I'm here. I could use the extra money. Maybe. That was gun... <sighs> Wrong gun soul 3. Obviously, the one I'm looking for is in battle. Okay, we'll grab that and then we'll move on. Perfect. Down here and get the exit. Undernet one, here we go. Might as well grab green mystery data while I'm here. But we are currently looking for the battle green mystery data. And you could do this on any of, of the difficulties, but I'm not going to change it. We got one bug fragment. And... Let's see. You're the subchip dealer. Still looking for it. Still looking for the right formation. No, not this one. That's the entrance. Just 
just gonna wander around a little bit. Okay, this fight's not bad, but this is not the fight I was looking for. I mean, okay. It's not a great fight. It is not a gr it, it's not a fantastic fight. But we'll make it work. Get this one to attack. We'll set up anti-damage. Of course we only get the If you have a way to hit something in the back without getting it to attack, then this would be a good one. Like this. This is not the fight I was looking for, though. But you could totally use this, and I'm keeping that. Not the fight I was looking for. But maybe that's the better one. I don't know. Because it wasn't that bad. Actually, could be worse, though. Oh, okay, there's the other green. Static, whatever. Doesn't matter. We just need to hang out here. No, not this fight. this one. Yeah, we're gonna keep hunting here until we find it. There's a specific formation I want to look for, and I think it might be the best one. Even if we take hits, I don't know. But we'll still we'll take our chances here. So now that I realize that we could just use this to hit the one in the back, maybe we'll just keep using this one. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll just lock enemy this one. Maybe we will... Maybe we will just lock enemy the bats. This isn't that bad. But only because I have fire hit already set up. Zenny, perfect. I want that. You know what? Let yeah, we'll lock enemy that. That's not that bad. We'll, we'll set this one up. All right. We are looking for. We're specifically looking for Dark uh, Gun Soul Three. We just need fire hit for the back one. Okay. Now I just need to waste chips. I can't hit him. Zenny. As much as I want Zenny, I need Gun Soul. Hmm. 
No. We might as well just make this a bug frag grinding, money grinding session as well for this little set. I want to make sure I get the chip though, so I'm going to prioritize that first. After that, there'll be money or bug frags, whatever I get. Not this fight. Walk enemies. Yep, okay. It's just not activating. This was the fight I was actually looking for. It was this one. We can use Leader Ray like this. Okay, that's uh, that's gonna be a problem. Again, we're going to try, but this was the fight I was looking for. And we get... Bug frags. As much as I need them, I want to make sure I get my gun souls. Sadly, it's a 1 in 8 chance. It's 3 and 8 for Zenny, 3 and 8 for Bug Frags, 1 and 8 for Gun Soul, and there's another 1 and 8 for a different ship. So it's going to take a little bit. did we get? Gun Soul 3D. That is one of the ones I need. I need another one. We need two. And you know what? That trade in Undernet 4 where he wants Gun Soul for the Lotto code. If it's the D code, I don't want it. I don't want to give him the code. I did say I was going to give him the trade. Because that's how you're supposed to get the lot number, but no, I'm not. <laughs> if it requires this. Is there a list of like Indian trades? Let's see, uh, trades? Team Navi's house remarks. It's not listed here at the moment. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll just do this. At least this one's very easy to manipulate. Oh, come on. One more. Still, well, we could we could do this. I don't know if it'll be enough. Okay, it is enough. Bug fragments. As much as I would love to take that with me, I need to guarantee the gun soul. And you know, I thought Nebula area was a good like, spot to go grind for bug fragments. But the Zenny payout is still 300 either way you look at it, and the bug frags are still 3. Honestly, it doesn't really matter which route you go. Either Undernet or Nebula work fine. Got rid of one. 
on. That's good. That's already good. How do I want to handle this? It's 150 already. Okay. This works. What do we got? Zenny, I would love to... Raid here. Cascade. Now we just wait until we get fire hit. No fire hits. We'll keep that plus 10 just in case. I, sh I really should be taking them. One in three. Or no, one in eight. It's a one in eight chance for Gun Soul. And here's the thing we could just buy it, but it requires a lot of Zenny. And that Zenny I could use for other things. I could use that Zenny for a lot of other things. <laughs> So yeah, you can grind in Nebula area, it really doesn't matter. Or under net. They both give the same rewards. Okay. Um I do not have good one. I need to save this. So I can at least use the first one. To at least weaken one of them. There we go. At least I got rid of you. Next. Sure, let's just use this up. Okay. I can't use this yet. I really can't. Not until I get grass tiles. Dark Toad Man, and we get rid of these three. There we go. Tomahawk? Okay, now I definitely don't want that. <laughs> Look, I'll debate myself whether or not I want to grab the Zenny or the Bug Frags, but when it's, when it's Sanctuary, that's a no. I already have that. And this is basically what I was doing in Nebula area. Just resetting. Granted, when I was in Nebula area, I just didn't care if I got bug frags or Zenny. I figured I was going to make my money back and then some with Zenny any rewards anyway. And I knew I needed I knew I needed a lot of Zenny anyway. But I did reset whenever I got chips cuz I knew I didn't need any more. Oh, come on. But because I want a guarantee to get Gun Soul 
I really want to reset and make sure I get it. It's a one and eight. It's a one and eight. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let's see if we can at least hit two of them. Okay, I got hit. Whatever. I don't care. Alright, that's not gonna work. Thanks, Confusion. That's on me. Let's try that again. There we go. Just save it for later. Um, let's go Number Soul. Confuse one of them. Save the fire hit. Tomahawk. Oh, the sonic wave moves slower. Oh, okay. When you have all three, it doesn't matter now. Fine. We'll take it. We'll take, we'll take it. Maybe it'll use up some of the RNG, but I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'm also tired of resetting, <laughs> you know? At some point, we need to move the RNG up. Another attempt. Let's go. Hit me. There we go. Still don't have it. There, back at full health. Let's see if that's even gonna be kept. We'll use up one of my plus tens. There we go. Fire hit three. Fine, we'll take we'll take the Zen. We'll take the Zen. Kinda wanna just get a new reward now, but if I want to buy Gunsoul 3, I would need to grind a lot of Zenny. So this fight I saw and there's no way. There's no way I can make that work. That skull is gonna hit the green mystery data. Another shot. Let's go number soul. Let's take out the one up top. For Tomahawk, there's that. And there's this. Skull three. There's that. 
What do we got? Please. Bug fragments? No, I better not. I better not take it. I better not take the bug fragments. I already took a set of bug fragments and a set of money. I really need the gun soul. The other option we can do, since I already got more than enough Zenny, we could just take any Zenny and bug fragments that we can get and just make this a grinding session until I get Gun Soul. And you know what? If I do that, I'm basically making progress. That just sounds like I'm not wasting as much time doing that. I kind of like that idea a little bit more. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's just take any uh, Zenny and Bug Frags I can get. Any of them. And nothing. Uh, number Soul, though. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, let's just take any Zenny and Bug Frags I can get. I need them anyway, and we'll just keep doing this until I get the, the last Gun Soul I need. Or, you know, we just get the other Gun Soul right now. <laughs> okay. We'll use up the, the rest of the lock enemy. We'll use it up. Okay, now we're just gonna look for Zenny and Bug Fragments. That's all. Okay, I got rid of one. Anything other than Zenny and Bug Fragments. Well, actually, if it's, uh... Actually, now that I think about it, if it's another Gun Soul, I probably should take it, because then I can officially make that trade. I don't know. I'll take what I can get, though. Lock enemy expired. Let's go to the program dealer. Very quick. Oh, come on. Extra Zenny's always good. I want to make sure to have enough money to buy a lock enemy. But other than that, I'm going to see what I can buy at the program shop. Set RNG. Alright, what can I buy? If I buy Bug Stop, that wastes everything. If I buy. Okay. I buy this. Okay. That's not bad. While I still need to buy another lock enemy, that will cover it. 
one more program I want to buy, and that would be Bug Stop, but other than that, let's see. Well, let's start with taking care of the program advance. Let's start with that. We could take care of that. I know this stream is kind of all over the place, but let's be honest, there's a lot of things that apparently I missed. Okay. Has to be Django SP or Dark Soul. Might as well just give it a Shadow Man, it's not a big, not a big deal. This is exciting! One more program advance, the last one! Something that I didn't accomplish on my GBA file. I did look at my GBA file last night, and I thought I did more, but when I actually think about, when I actually think about it, it's like, no, that actually sounds about right. So apparently on my GBA file, I have the same amount of completion in terms of the symbols at the top as what I do now. The reason why I thought I did more was because I'm just like, oh, I still need to get every program advance. And I'm not wrong in that assessment. The problem is when you only need one more program advance, actually I need three, uh, you're missing a mega chip because of it. And by missing a mega chip, you're also missing a giga chip. So, but here's the thing. So I am on my GBA file missing a single mega chip. That single me mega chip, to get that, I needed all program advances. And there are three on my GBA file that I am currently missing. Wide Shot 3 and Shake Parade 2 and 3. I didn't look at what codes I have. I was just curious on like which ones I was missing altogether. So, because of that, I don't have the final mega chip that I'm missing. Okay, before I continue that, program advance pile driver. Works the same. File number four. I don't it might be better than using normal gun soul. Or Django SP. I'm going to put my folder back where it was. Even though I don't even know if this is the best folder anyway. <laughs> Probably isn't. And let me get... Oh, what did I swap out? Shadow Man. And with that... We have every program advance. So now, we can get one of the mega chips, but we can do that later. If we want to. We need to get every other. Not just. It's not just that we need the SP chips, we need to S rank them. So, we're basically. Even though I have this, we need to do both. Cosmo Man, we should either fight or get the Dark Soul chip in the Neb in the Liberation mission. Doesn't matter which one. Um. So yeah, continuing what I was saying before my GBA file, because I was missing the program, I was missing one of the Mega Chips because I was missing all the program advances. But because I'm missing a single G Mega Chip, I didn't have one of the Giga Chips. And apparently, I was also missing Bug Charge. So, I was... I'm still very close on my GBA file. Honestly, it's... The... On my GBA file, I'm missing this, this, and this. 
But once I got, once I get all, all three of those on my GBA file, after a little bit of bug grinding, I would basically have everything, more or less. So... I'm trying to think. What do we want to do? What's... Cosmo Man Dark Soul? Cosmo Man Dark Soul. Now, the question is... Do we want to get it through... Do we want to get it through the Nebula area? Wait, did we crash? What happened? There was a, uh... Okay, no, it doesn't seem like we crashed, but for a second there it was buffering. Okay. We can either get we can either get it through the liberation mission, or we could get it through actually fighting Cosmo Man. And I think actually fighting Cosmo Man will just be faster. Part of it is we just don't need to actually S rank him. So, let's try that. Or, it's either that or we do some money grinding and bug fret grinding. But I can also, I can also try doing that off, uh, off stream if I need to. There's a lot of bug frags we need, I need to get. Try to gather as much green mystery data that we can. We might as well wander around, maybe fight Colonel if we run into him, even though I doubt I'm gonna get the S rank. But I'm not gonna go hunting for him. We're just looking for the green mystery data here, and then we'll go to Undernet 4. Bug fragment, we'll take it. I mean, like, I could try, but it's probably not gonna happen. Honestly, I need, if I wanna try to get this, I have to get rid of the Lark enemy, and this would be the way to do it. Okay, that works. And because he summons a block, Colonel Soul just does that. I could just sit here and do nothing. It's funny to have Colonel Soul do this, but you would need a quick way to take out Okay, well, there's Gunsaw. You would need to take, have a way to take out uh, the Lark enemy. That one's going to be the harder one to take care of. Hell, when I went back to my save in the GBA, uh, I, I saw that my save is currently... Uh, it was currently in Undernet 2, probably implying I was trying to fight Shaky or the Lark enemy. <laughs> and we saw how much trouble I was having last time. Oh my god! He's trapped! Oh man. Okay, I messed that up, but he was trapped. That's hilarious. I'm not getting that, but he was trapped. I could have easily made that work. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. I know I probably should be fighting, just so I have a chance for Zenny. But, honestly, if I'm fighting for Zenny, it's gonna be through... It's gonna be through the bug frat, uh, the... in battle green mystery data. Yeah, 
I need more Zenny for lock enemies. We're gonna need a lot more. Hi, Colonel. Let's see. What's the best way to deal with this? Uh, uh, fine. Well, I failed already. I guess we'll go Scully. See, okay, yeah, there is no way I'm getting the SP chip. Not now. There is no way. Not a chance. Let alone, like, I need the... Like, not only do I need the SP chip, I need the S rank specifically. Okay. I have Dark Number Man. That would be 500. Yeah, this would be better. That's kind of what I was hoping to get. There we go. That's a better use of it. Normal number man. We pair it up with the shadow man one. There's probably a certain amount of times he'll move before he'll attack. And I should probably count them. Should probably count them up. Well then, program advance, bodyguard. Man, I am constantly getting hit. There we go. That's 700 damage right there. Nowhere close to the S rank. Alright. Under net four. We're gonna hunt for Cosmo Man. While we're here, let's just grab some green mystery data. There's the other one. Cosmo Man's here somewhere. I I figure hunting down Cosmo Man is gonna be faster. It's gonna be faster than doing the liberation mission. Yeah, he wants Gunsel 3D. Then it's a lot of number. I had the extra random way, so yeah, sure. There is a way to possibly make this work. Fast gauge right away. Maybe this is too late. No, it instant despawns. Okay. So... Scully? Fire hit. There we go. Oh no, 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 don't do this to me. There we go, that works. <laughs> okay. Now that I don't need it, it wants to hand me Gun Soul. Thanks, game. I really appreciate it. Now that I, like, now that I actually don't need Gun Soul, it's just gonna give me Gun Soul every time. Okay, where is Cosmo Man? He's here somewhere, and we have Lock Enemy for him.
This was actually a fight I was considering. Oh, I should have grabbed in this. Yeah, this was one I was considering setting up. Okay, with that in mind, we can use current. What am I doing? I don't need to actually go into Colonel Soul. I just need to. That's... Okay, good. I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. We just need the Guardian. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the game's mocking me now. It is mocking me. Right. Well, I got another shot. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go number soul. Well, let's get both Scullies in. I want to get rid of... I want to get rid of the electric dude. Or weaken him, whatever. Because they cannot actually destroy the green mystery data. So that's why I thought this wasn't that bad of a fight. Oh, my heal. There we go. <laughs> the game's mocking me with the one and eights. It's mocking me. When I actually want the Zenny or the bug frags, now it's just like, nah. Nah, you're getting chips. And you're gonna get all of them. Like, no, I don't want that. This fight. Cosmo Man's here somewhere. We we got it set up. He's here. We fought him multiple times. Yeah, here's the thing. Like doing the nebula mission, the we would have to do the final nebula mission again. And we basically need to do what we did last time, but then once we get to Cosmo Man, we need to wait a few turns before actually getting rid of him. And then once we do that. We're just given a Cosmo Man as a uh, Dark Soul chip. Tomahawk. I hit both of them, I guess. I'll take it. I will take it. Buck Fragments. Yay. I need that. Yeah, I think Undernet 1 has the better... The bat, the bat fight's better. Like, that's a better spot for Green Mystery Jada. The thing about Nebula area is that it it's a lot faster to get to. And the fight itself is not that bad. Like, it's very easy to manipulate. And Cosmo Man's being a coward right now, and I'm nowhere close to at full health. Like, I am very low on health right now. And yet Cosmo Man's like, nah. Nah, I could fight him, but I'm not going to, because that's what he wants. And we can't have that. Oh my god, come on. You know, if I'm gonna Navi hunt, what I probably should do is close the door so now they're all level 1 enemies and just have sneak run. 
I should probably consider doing that. I got rid of the the meteor. I'll take it. Let's see where he moves. There we go. What have we got? What am I actually need to take care of? We're working on the dark chip for Cosmo Man, but we could probably make it easier by lowering the difficulty and equipping Sneak Run just to find him. I already know I could use Undernet. I already know I could use Undernet for grinding. And other than Cosmo Man, we just need these. The SP chips, the S ranks. You know what? Yeah. Let's go to. Let's go close the door to Nebula. Actually, no. Instead of closing the door first, let's go into. Let's go all the way to Nebula 4. And we are going to open the gate and get our reward. And then we'll leave, come back in, and close the door. Granted, we don't need to gather the reward. It's just why not? We can also maybe get some Zenny along the way. That's kind of my mindset. Yeah, let's let's get some green mystery data along the way. And here I thought we were really just gonna focus on S ranking, but no, we are not. I thought we would do a lot more of that. Oh, not over here. One thousand zenny, or yeah, that's about it. Uh, hmm? Nope. Barrier 200, eh. What do I have? Nothing. Yeah, let's just go gather a reward in four. Something that I haven't managed to do on my GBA file. Yeah, I thought it was a lot closer than what I actually was. But then when I actually thought about it, I wasn't wrong when I said I just needed, like, a program advance. I just didn't remember that to get the last Mega Chip, you needed all program advances. So it's like... Yeah. And even then, there's, like, still another task I need to do. Oh, I can't run. Oh, no, I can't run, but with my better charge, I can just stun lock you. I guess we'll heal up.
Let's grab this. More Zenny. Perfect. Now I have enough for another lock enemy. Which I should buy. And you know what? You know what I'm thinking? I feel like I don't have enough... Um... Total, like, caps. Because remember, you could start holding four of each sub-chip, right? And I found two, that's why I could hold six. But in other games, like Battle Network 4, you could hold up to eight. It makes me wonder if I'm missing two. Damage. Set this up. Might as well set invis up, I guess. I got rid of one. We're safe there. Really? All right. All right, get Zenny. Yay. Honestly, they probably should have increased. The amount of Zenny and bug frags you get in Nebula area. They probably should have. These are supposed to be harder enemies, right? Harder area. They should get a better reward. Like, five bug fragments and maybe, I don't know, 5,000 Zenny. I don't know. Oh, well, there's nothing they can do. I'm getting this, that's for sure. Oh, never mind. I was so cocky. It was because the enemy was currently on the first column. That's why it would have worked if I didn't use Aqua Whirl, I guess. I fire. Don't need that. Over here, nope. We got what we got. Nothing. Nothing. Down here. Anti water. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, if I wanted to get this, how would I handle it? Actually, I'd probably handle this a little bit differently. part of the plan. I meant to back up, but... Hold on. Oh, come on. All the way back here. I already know the green mystery data is anti-fire and anti-water. I don't really need that. I'll just move on. Oh no, I can't run. That's actually bad. All to just get a mega chip reward that I'm probably not actually gonna use, but I need it anyway.
No good, I can't run. Oh, I didn't see that. Hey look, I can run. Thanks game. Thank you. I already know I don't need both green mystery data. Let me run. Okay, made it to area four. Making saves every once in a while will reset the RNG if I die. Allow me to get a little bit farther. Is there is there a way I can get this? Mm, I could try. If I didn't run into that, probably would have. Okay. Can we try this again without, you know, breaking? Um, no, we don't want that. Second. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. Okay, that later. Okay. Sorry. Uh. You know what? Let's go number soul. Only because I want to get through some chips. And I'm just gonna not do anything for a little bit. Good. That's what I was looking for. So, while I do need the healing, I can spend a turn on this. There we go, get some healing in. One more. Got some Zenny, I'll take that. That is not a bad fight to go, uh, to try to grind for. You're fine. Molly, you're okay. Can I run? Okay, good. Alright, this one, show your power, drive yourself to that absolute limit, that's get every HP memory. I forget which way I need to go. Bug fragment. Molly, you're fine, okay? You're fine. No one's here. I don't see anything. You're okay. Is this what I need? Power's been shown. There it is. Double point. Actually, maybe there is. I don't know. It's probably just neighbors, Molly. Double point. Takes away an entire column. Entire area grab for basically plus 60 for your next chip. Can definitely be useful, depending on your build. So if I go up here, up this way, run from you. Oh, come on. What do you mean I can't run from you? This isn't even the EX variant. Can I run? Thank you. Now over here. 
His voice speaks out of nowhere. Show your power. Find all mega chips. And we need to come back here once we take once we get our SP chips. And the one Dark Soul chip. What's down here? Oh, it's just a way back. Okay. All right. We're kind of done here. Let's close the portal. That should make things easier to find Cosmo Man. We're still going to hunt for him. I'll probably have to throw in the sneak run program. Unless I have one. I don't think I have a sub chip for it. Yeah, I don't have a sneak run. But we might as well hunt for Cosmo Man while we're while we're here. Rainy day. No, I don't need that. How much Zen do I have? I could buy the program, but I would really want to be able to uh, get another lock enemy. Yeah, let's close the door. That way all enemies are easier. speed in, might as well. Alright, sneak runs equipped. Just to make things easier on me, let's check for green mystery data while we are here. And then we'll go to Undernet 4 and try Cosmo Man again, because we couldn't find him. Anti wood. Don't need that. Okay. Undernet 4. Let's try this again. Cosmo Man, I'm hunting you down. Where are you? Some extra Zenny. And Bug Fragment. We'll keep those both. Where is he? He's here somewhere. He's hiding. It's because Cosmo Man is a coward. He doesn't want to fight me. Because he knows he'll lose. Where is he? Well, it saves time by not running into just any random encounter. That does help. The real question is, is Cosmo Man just going to show up at all? This is where I kind of wish I had auto run. Hold on, let me... I could just run in circles for... I could just run in circles for all I care. Um, I'm going to look up something. I need to figure out where my uh, the rest of like my HP memories and stuff are. Let me see. Let me see if I can find something. Did we find him? There he is. Okay. Let's get rid of you first. We don't need a perfect. Confuse does way more to the navvies than you think. I 
I already went into Tomahawk, so I might as well use this up. See, look how good that was. I, uh, Colonel... Do I want Colonel Soul? Please. Actually, hold on. Let's go Toad Man. Get my healing in. How did that not connect? Okay, I understand how that did. Program advance, bodyguard. Oh, he can't escape this. Okay, now with that, we have Leader Raid, and he's done. Let's see, what do I get? We get regular Cosmo Man, that is fine. We use Lock Enemy. Maybe I don't need to use Lock Enemy, it just makes things go faster, I think, in this case. I looking for? Power up guide. I think that's what I was looking for. There he is. Sub memory? Yeah, I'm missing two things of sub memory. Okay. Okay, do we want to start with Toad Man? Yeah, we can start with Dark Toad Man. And get rid of this. Oh, come on. He can block. That's BS. All right. I guess I'll have my long, the long swords ready to go. Oh, come on. I hate it when he does that. This is not... Okay, this is not going to work. I already know it's not. I already know that's not going to work. You know, do you even need Lock Enemy if you have Sneak Run? I don't know. Let's try this. Times two. Uh, yeah, let's just use this up. Again, getting them confused uses, like, really messes them up. Oh, if I do this. Dang it, it's like hard to hit him sometimes. Okay. That's 500. Is that what I want to do right now? I think so. Chaos Lord. He can't move, but I have anti-damage, and we have Scully. And now that he can't move, Cactaball. Oh, never mind. Rank 9, Dark Soul. Perfect. Five more... 
five more mega chips, but we need six more fights. All that's left with mega chips is the SP chips of our six teammates. I am using. I'm gonna use my money on the block enemies. You know what? I have a power-up list here. Let's go and get what I'm missing. There's like, there's some sub memories that I'm missing. Okay, something about the front desk. Examine the in-city fr front desk. Sub memory. Okay. There is one in the engine comp. There's one in factory comp four. And there's one in ship comp either two or three. Let's check factory comp four. Maybe I missed it. Like all the way near the end. And then with HP memories, maybe we'll go and hunt down the ones that are not in shops. Not sure, but yeah. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Just try to get some of the upgrades done. Right down here. There's reg ups too. How many reg ups do I have? I have. I need four more points for reg ups. Reg ups. However, isn't there a? Uh, isn't there one in, like, Nebula 4? No, not really. Okay, so I'm just straight up missing something for reg regs up. Okay. Anyway. S start with the sub-memory. Supposedly there's one in here that I probably missed. Maybe. Let's just take a look around. It's probably in either the... Colonel or Toad Man section. Okay, nothing there. Green mystery data. Might as well grab that. Zenny. Two switches. Nope, nothing there. Again, I might have already gotten this one. There's two other spots to check. Green mystery data, bug fragment. This leads to the switches. Again, I'm getting like kind of confused. Toad man. Okay, let's swap over to the kernel side. Let's see. Down here, Colonel, that's where he starts. This one switches for Colonel, there's the other one. That's the Toad Man switch. Get back to Mega Man, basically, nothing there. Okay, I don't think it's here, we must have already gotten it. Alright. Molly, stop. <sighs> I know. Okay, hold on. The cat wants something. Give me a minute. Give me a second.
Okay, I'm back. Mike's working? Yeah, looks like it. All right, there's two other spots. Um, both of them are on, uh, on, are on the boat. Okay. So it's either in the engine comp, which I did go through there, but I could check again, or it's in, or it's in ship comp three. It says either the Japanese version, the DS version, or the Legacy Collection version. If you're playing the English GBA version, Ship Comp 2 would be it. Apparently, in the English version of Battle Network 5 on the GBA, they took out Ship Comp 1 and Gargoyle Comp 2. I don't know why. So that's why something's got switched around and where some of this is a little confusing. But we're going back to the ship. It's probably Ship Comp 3. That's probably where it is. Come on, here we go. We could check the engine comp, but I'm pretty sure I got that one. Ship comp three. Although I could be wrong, I don't know. And ship comp three. Let's start taking a look around. Nothing here. That's green mystery data. Here. Okay, nothing here. Nothing there. Let's teleporter out. Nothing here. Take the left path. Let's see what we find. Okay, green mystery data. How's this any? Go up here. Teleporter. Okay. Let's try that again. Because there's a different path I could take. Yeah, that one. There it is. Sub memory. Okay. Now we have all the sub memories. HP, reg ups. Okay. Let's look for the HP memories. There are 10 that I'm missing. A good amount of them are probably going to be. Uh, are, are going to be the net dealers, but I don't think all 10 of them are. So I am going to skip ahead. And we're going to check every spot where a HP memory can be that's not net dealers. Okay, let's start. Let's just start from the top. ACDC. Examine his computer. The base computer, this one. I'm pretty sure I might have gotten this. Yeah. 
And just in case, I'll examine... <coughs> yeah, okay. Scilab 1. Or Scilab, let's see. Main computer 1. What does that mean? Is that this? That's terminal. Main comp. Let me see. Oh, that would be here, right? Yeah, main comp one. Let's double check. Let's double check this. I'm pr I probably did get everything here, but you never know. Green mystery data. Vulcan. Nope, not that. Nope. Wait, hold on, hold on. I think that's the correct path. Dead end? Okay, nothing. If I go down here, no. If I go up here, this way leads to a switch. Okay. Yeah, and just double checking everything. Okay, not here. Now we need to go to Oron area. Culture. I'm pretty sure I went through here already. Uh, nothing. I don't see anything. Okay. Let's go to Oron area. There are, let's see, I see three there. Is there any extra cops? No. Okay. So there is old mine to crate, okay. Old mine one. Old mine two, there's a crate here. This had one. Just double checking. Okay. The other two that would be here Drill Comp 1 and Drill Comp 4. I'm pretty sure I was thorough. But we're going to double check. Just play it safe. Drill comp one. Let's take a look. Dead end. Nothing. I think I'm going the wrong way. Wait. Oh, maybe I... No, I think I went, I went the right way. No. Let's check. Double check. Be thorough. Green mystery data. Cannon, I don't need that. Okay. Let's try this again. Over here. Dead end, dead end. over here. Dead end. And dead ends. Green mystery data. Okay. Nothing there. 
in that. Okay. Pretty sure I was thorough. Drill comp four. We'll double check. Double check this in here. Dead end. Well, down here, dead end. Okay. Nothing. Green mystery data. Mystery data. Dead ends. Okay. Over here. Oh, that's where the vision burst is. Area four. Not drill comp three. Okay. No wonder it didn't pop up. <laughs> okay. I think I was thorough. Now it's telling me to examine ship comp 2 at the Queen Bohemia. There's also the view comp at uh, Queen Bohemia. To double check. I am pretty sure we went through ship comp 2. Actually, I know we did because when I was trying to find wide shot L... Nothing there. You know what, though? Let's just double check. I know I went through there, but, you know, I want to just make trip quadruple sure, you know? Okay. I think that's all of them on Oran Islands. There's nothing else here. Queen Bohemia. So first, let's check the view comp. Can I? No, I have to go up here. So it's here. One's here. Check. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Nuh uh. And got it. Okay. We'll double check ship comp too. Is there anything else that would be here? No. Not really. Just the Queen Bohemia. This is all for HP memories, by the way. Just double saving it. Okay, Ship Comp 2. If you're playing the English GBA version, it's Ship Comp 1, because they took this section out of it. Even though I am positive I checked through everything here when trying to find Wide Shot. Let's just be thorough. Console 1. Nothing. Whatever. Nothing, nothing. Teleport. This one, dead end. Nothing. Nothing. Dead end. Okay. Down here. Green mystery data. Holy panel. Don't care. Not what I'm looking for. Dead end. Okay. I don't care. I have the HP. 
let that happen. Sure. Dead end. Nothing. Okay. Ship comp two. All right. Nothing else in Scilab or uh, Queen Bohemia. I think we're done. He we're done here. Let's check End City. Castle exteriors back of statue. Is that this? I'm just gonna check every corner just in case. Castle exteriors back of statue. Mm. There's an NPC in the castle exterior. That's chapter seven. Gargoyle Comp 1 Blue Mystery Data, and Gargoyle Comp 3 Blue Mystery Data. If you're playing GBA, it would be Comp 2. Is there another one? Okay. Castle Exteriors, Back of Statue. One room. Alright. We also need... To go into the katana. Probably already grabbed this. Blue mystery data somewhere. Nope. Got it. Okay. It was in the katana. Back a statue? Nope. It says castle exteriors. Is that a specific location? We are in the mum room. We are in the castle keep. Castle exterior. Okay. There is the back of the statue that's pro that's up there. Talk to an NPC in chapter seven. That's I think that was this guy. I want over there. Back of statue. I think I got it. I'll just double check again. Alright. It looks like I got it. I gotta check Gargoyle Comp 1 and 3. All for HP. It's really starting to seem like the last 10 are going to be, uh, the, the last 10 HP memories are going to be through the shops. It's starting to look that way. Again, one in three. And if you're playing GBA, English, one in two, Gargoyle Comp. Just trying to be thorough as possible, honestly. Cactus ball, don't care. Dead ends, dead ends, dead ends. Okay. Nothing, nothing, dead end. Dead end, dead end. I check over here. Dead end. Okay, we looks like we got the one in Garo Comp One. We need to get to three. Let's see. Over here. Might as well grab this while we're here. How much time do I have? That's to the dead end, that's right. Go up 
here. Keep going. Pass this. Go this way. Up and around. Might as well grab that. Got fragment. Okay. You gotta be thorough here. Green mystery data. Grass seed. All dead ends. Over here, dead ends. Down here, let's take a look. Nothing. Okay, still good. Dead ends, dead ends. All of these are dead ends. No blue mystery data. Okay. Does this just loop around? That's, okay, that's the way forward. Check this way, nothing. I read Gargoyle Comp 3, right? Yes, I read 3. Dead end. Okay. Dead ends. Okay. Don't think I was that thorough. Hold on. Green mystery data. Zenny. Nothing. Okay, I think we got the one in here. All right. So, okay. Give me a sec. Let's head back to ACDC. It's really starting to look like all of the the rest of the HP memories I have to just buy. It's starting to look that way. Almost out of here. All right. While we're in, he while we're at ACDC, there was the one in Squirrel Comp A. We we saw that earlier today. We got that. Um, tree Comp. Pretty sure I found this one. Okay, I feel like Battle Network 5 has a lot of these random computer areas that just don't feel like they should be. Like this, like, you would have no clue this was one unless you either examine it or you're just mashing the jack in spot like at every corner like this, like doing that. That's how I used to play. <laughs> So, the tree comp and the squirrel comp. Now, at Mount Bellinus, we need to check... We need to check the pipe comp, which I know I got, but we'll double check. Yeah, I know I got this one, but we'll double check. And then after that, we need to check factory comp 1 and 3. Double check all uh, one and three very quick. All right. Factory comp one and three it is. Okay, and then after that. Oh yeah, there is one in like Nebula 4 and 2 and 6, okay. Let's double check. Let's see, nothing here. Anything over 
here. I'm pretty sure I got them when I was going through the first time. And you never know, maybe I over... I missed a lot of blue mystery data, like, during my playthrough. Like, in the dungeons. So, yeah, honestly, me missing some in, like, these dungeons, like, I wouldn't... I shouldn't be surprised. I missed a good amount. Kind of shocked, honestly. Not counting Queen Bohemia. That, that one's just kind of dumb. Queen Bohemia is like, oh. HP memory. All right, we got this one. Okay. Factory comp three it is. But yeah, Queen Bohemia was kind of dumb. It's like, oh, because you're, you're playing as Colonel Proto Man, you can't gather this HP memory. Or this Navi Customizer part or something. Let's hope you remember specifically where it was. And go back and get it once you get Mega Man. Kind of wish Colonel or Pro Man could just hold on to it for you. You know? And hand it to Lan. Because Lan finds HP memories in out and about in the real world, so it must be, like, something he could just, like, hold off on, like, give it to Colonel or something. I don't know. Okay, so we found one in Factory Comp 1. Green Mystery Data. Scully. Don't care. Nothing here. Right, that's the dead end. Up here. That just loops. Up here, what do we got? Dead ends. This is just a big loop, isn't it? Okay, dead end. Yeah, this was Tomahawk Man and Number Man. Okay, that was a big loop. That's fine. Oh, nope, not there. Dead end. Might as well grab the green. Dead end. Switch. That's not it. This way. That's where the boss was. I think we're good. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's here. So now that we've checked all of these, there's a few more spots to check on the actual internet parts. So there's Dex's HP uh, homepage. We could double check that. There's the furnace comp, and to get there, we need to go to ACDC. It's either two or three. Oran area two, Scilab area two. Server comp. Where's the server comp? Oh, is that the way to get in between from Scilab four to Oran two? That might be right. End area three, net under net one, Nebula two, four, and six. I remember getting the one in six. I don't know if we got the one in four. Honestly, I feel like all the normal internet areas I'd gone through and got them all. Feels correct. Let's check Dex's H uh, homepage though. Let's double check that one. And the Furnace Comp. We'll, che we'll check both. We go this way, then loop around. Nothing. Go up here. Here. That just loops back this way. Okay, nothing here. Furnace Comp. That's at... 
It's either over here in, or in three. That's kitchen. Okay. Furnace is in three. And I buy everything from this dealer. Yeah, everything that's important. I can add the HP memory. <laughs> Alright, we'll check three. I'm pretty sure I was thorough on the blue mystery data on the actual internet areas. I don't need to use on. I didn't need to use on trap. Hey, Zenny, I don't care. And we get the furnace comp. Let's double check. Anything? No. Nope. And no. Okay. Everything else, other than the server comp, is all just normal internet areas, and I'm pretty sure we got them all. I'll check the sh server comp, which I believe that's in Scilab 4. But other than that, I think if there's going to be one, it's probably going to be a Nebula... Probably two, four. No, I got the one in six, but so it might be either in two or four. But I think I got him. Let's go check server comp. Other than that. All that's left is to check for uh, reg ups. Okay. Also, another thing I don't know if I will end up doing in Battle Network 5, now that I'm, like, kind of thinking about it. Do I want... Is there anything I want right now? Nah, nothing too bad. So, the crossover points, I looked up how we're so supposed to actually get them. At least in, in this, in Legacy Collection. You get them through just random net battles. I, it doesn't necessarily have to be a rank match, but you do need to play net battles, and you get crossover points for doing that. So because of that, I am not sure if I will do any of the crossover stuff. It's just you get points, you put in the in the trader, and you can get some chips, although there's like one or two exclusive chips there. So, yeah, I'm not completely sure if I will be doing that. That does require net battling. Real people. And even then, like, I think it's just gathering points. Yeah, we got everything to serve. It's just gathering points and then trading them in, so I don't know. Then again, like, a part of me wants to try out some of those chips. So, on the internet areas that I didn't check yet, there's Oron 2, Scilab 2, which I was just kind of there, I didn't see anything. End Area 3, Undernet 1, that could be through the secret route in End Area 1 uh, to get to Larkman. Nebula 2, Nebula 4, and Nebula 6. I'm not going to double check those, at least not right now, because uh, honestly, we went all the way around those areas multiple times. I feel like I would have saw them. It honestly feels like the rest of the HP memories I have to buy. So there's nine more I have to buy, maybe. If it turns out I buy them all and I don't have it, then I know kind of a rough idea where to check. 
And I think I have all the ones bought in ACDC and Orin Area 1, so I just need the ones from End Area 1, Undernet 3, and Nebula 2. Okay, let's check for reg ups now. I'm missing four. However, I will skip Queen Bohemia. We It's ship comp two. We literally just checked that whole thing. We checked the whole thing. It's not there. <laughs> it is not there. We checked. Uh, we could. We might have to double check Gargo comp two and four. I'll save that for later. <laughs> Let's see. Let's check for reg ups. Is there anything in the Okay. Let's check the IRL spots. So we want to go to Scilab. In the lobby, there's a trash can. In the library. Lobby, yep. Okay, so check the trash can. That's the vending machine. Nope, we want the trash can. And I did grab that one. Talk to the talk to NPC in Scilab lobby. It's for you. Oh, reg up too. Good luck. There's nothing else to, I can say. Okay, good to know. Um, it says Chapter 7, which basically means end of the game, I think. Dad's computer blew mystery data. I think we got it, but we'll double check. So it's either one reg up two or two let reg up ones. That actually makes things simpler. That narrows it down. Check the center. Okay. Queen Bohemia. I'm not going to ship comp two. We literally just went through that. I already know it's not there. Wine case comp and screw comp. Okay, it's not wine case comp. One, we were just kind of in there, and two, it's a it's a reg up three. Which I... which that's not going to be possible. Okay, let's check... The life jackets on the bridge. Uh, life jackets. There it is! That was fast! Alright, that was simple. Okay, we got them all. We got all the reg ups. That, that, that saves a lot of time. All right. We got all the sub memories. We got all the reg ups. HP memories, it's most likely net dealers for me. And if not, I still need to check Orin Area 2, Scilab 2, End Area 3, Undernet 1, Nebula 2, 4, and 6. But I think I got them all anyway. Close that off. Um. Okay, what else do we need to look through? Okay. The next part would be... Okay, what do we need to do? We need to go after S... We need to start S ranking. I could do money slash bug frag grinding, but I could probably do that on my own. The other option is... Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think there... There's some extra stuff we can do just for fun. Because I can't think of what else to do other than S-rank stuff. Or money and bug frag grind, and I could do that on my own. Let's look at patch cards. First of all, I think we want the... 
I think we want some of these. It's, uh, okay. Because I am playing Team Colonel, I'm gonna grab these six to get the Gyroman, Gyroman SP, Gyroman Dark Soul, basically the navvies from the other game. You could do this once per save file. If you're playing Team Proto Man, I would say get the get the six that are for Team Colonel down here. Yeah, grab these six. I don't see if you're playing Legacy Collection anyway. Because I don't see any reason not to do this. I was kind of looking through. Okay. That should add a secret library. There we go. So, I don't see a reason not to do what I just did. It gets you all of these, all... Of, there's no other secret chips, it's just these. How, uh, so... The only other ways to do this is to actually just folder compare with someone playing Team Proto Man, and then you have to buy them yourself. But, it's just what you get here. It's just a way to fill this out without having to folder compare. I don't see a reason not to do this, honestly. However, there is something to consider. Um, in the communications, you can compare... Hold on. You could compare records. And if you compare records, you know, you compare these. And if you're comparing with someone who's playing, in this case, Team Proto Man, and they have S-ranked their navvies, then those powered-up navvies would be reflected here. So that's how you're supposed to power up the other version's SP chips if you're playing, like, this version. You have to compare with someone who's playing the other version that has already done it. So... The chips themselves, go ahead. I see no reason to not use the patch cards. If you want a strong variant of them, then you have to folder, then you have to compare records. So, it's either that or you folder compare and just buy them yourself in game. I mean, if you're playing GBA, that's probably what you're gonna have to do, but, you know, it's up to you, however you feel like. Um,. There is one other thing I think we should do. I know there's a bunch of item stuff, but I don't know. Like, I just don't really want to mess with this. There's like a... I mean, I could get a bunch of Zenny this way, but I think I'm not going to do that. Uh, there is something I want to do. Base cross Mega Man for Colonel. Let's mess around with this. Can't use the equip folder switching to extra folder. Why do I have to use the extra folder? So with this form, it looks like I have 20% HP. Okay. Float shoe. Normal body triple buster. I don't know what that means. Minus... Oh, that's how, why... Minus two on the mega folder. And B down is Hellriser? Hmm. Interesting. So I could shut that off? Ah, uh, that's how it works. Okay. I see how it works. So the reason why I can't use my folder is uh, I have to I have to get rid of some standard chips or mega chips. Two mega chips. Let's see. Let's get rid of Guardian and let's get rid of 
Shadow Man, I guess. Um, if I were to throw in two other chips, what would I throw in? Um, let me look. I could throw in another, like, fire hit. Actually, let's just make it simple. Let's just throw in two long blades. I don't care. Quick. Now I can use it. So first of all, let's mess around with with this uh, form. This is not something you can normally do. And apparently, if you're playing Team Proto Man, the base form is actually slightly different. I don't know the exact details on how, though. I don't think I'll mess around with this long term. However... There is something we can do with this, I think. Now that we've activated pa Base Cross Mega Man, there are now some, apparently, some events we can do by walking on certain spots. Let's go to... We're going to Oron Area 3, and I want to... I really want to test this out. I have never tested out Base Cross Mega Man. And the one in Proto Man is a little bit different. It's another form of version exclusivity. Let's see. Okay. Whoa! Okay, a charge shot summons this thing. And it kind of locks onto them. What else can be done with you? Float shoe, uh, undershot, try buster. I don't know what that means. Be down is Hellriser. Be down is Hellriser. I want to test that out. get rid of you first. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a stretch shot. Wait a minute. I I'm going to destroy the green mystery data. It's a spread shot. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. If the Navi customizer is still a thing you can use, get a lot of, get a speed set up. For the Mega Buster and just have the spread shot working. Speed and attack. You already have it float shoes. Well, let's get rid of you. Yeah, get a lot of speed going on there. So is it like... How... The wide shot is cool for the Mega Buster. And the charge shot is pretty cool too. But I don't know what this Hellriser thing is. Did it hit him twice? It did kind of hit him twice. Why? Again, I kind of want to test this out a little bit. While wa wandering around or in Area 3. Is it always the case? It it hits it twice. It just straight up hits them twice. It's like when it hits an enemy, it will stop in place for a second. So. Just kind of testing things out. So we'll always go to the front. 
it will always go to the front. And then if it can curve down and hit an enemy, it's going to do that. Interesting. So my question is, what is... What is B down? What is that? Can I... Is there a way I can look this up? Okay, let me look. King Colonel, okay. Hell's rolling. Ten times ten buster attack. So in this case, it's a forty power, up to three times. Does not cost flashing. Is that just what it's called? Just is that what it is? Hell's rolling. Okay. So that's just. It just means that's the charge shot. The B button, triple buster. All panels in a one three ahead of Mega Man are struck. If the target is in the panel ahead of Mega Man, it'll struck the it'll be struck three times instead. Wait a minute, what? Hold on. I can't really utilize this, can I? So, if I would do this... Four, four, yeah. Oh, wow! All three hits! If it's that close. See? If all three hits... Right there, see, look. It's a spread shot, but if you get right next to them, you can hit them three times in a single shot. I see. Interesting. One more test of the... just the form. One more test. Someone in the... That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Uh, first, I'm just gonna get rid of the one in front. I don't care. Get rid of that one. So, it doesn't matter how far away they are. It'll always just head to the back. It will just always head to the back. And whatever it hits first, it'll hit the top, the... It'll hit the column, the row above, and the row below. Below. So if you attack straight in the center, it'll always hit. However, I think the only reason that worked. No, no, no. I think I think it's fine. Nothing else. So, yeah, HP plus twenty percent. You get flip shoes, and you have to minus out your mega folder. Yeah, you would need a patch card. I guess you can maybe actually get this in the official English version. You just would need all the Japanese equipment, maybe? I don't even know if that's even possible, but we'll see. If you're playing the DS version, have Battle Network 5 GBA basically 100%ed in the GBA slot, or... Apparently, Battle Network 5 GBA with no save. Okay, so if you're playing on the DS, in the bottom slot, you need to have a game of Battle Network 5. You either need just a fresh copy, just no new, there is no continue option on the start screen. Basically a fresh, fresh out of the box copy, or you basically need to 100% it. And you can play that form in the DS variant. Team Proto Man, let's look at the details. Uh, let's see. Triple Buster. All panels are struck. If the target is ahead, it's struck three times. Okay, so it seems like the normal Buster works the same in both versions. Now, the Chart Shot. Let's see. Power Attack. Shooting Buster. Times five Buster Attack up to three times. Does not cause... 
a back. I don't know what that means. I haven't tested. So it's HP plus 200. You get super armor, and you still have the minus folder. If I were to have all HP memories, I think the HP plus 20% and the HP plus 200 end up being the same thing. But the Team Proto Man variant is way more useful until you get to get all your HP memories. So apparently when you're base cross Mega Man, you go here and this event happens. Yikes! What is it, Mega Man? It, it's coming. What's coming? I feel its power. It's the same as me. What? Lan, get ready for some action. I'm on it. Here it comes. I sense your power. I've never seen this event, by the way. But base? The power pulses I sense in you. They are from the same type as mine. Interesting. Let's battle. I'm gonna find out if that power of yours is fake or not. Or if it's real. Or if it's the real thing. There we go. Here it comes, Lan. Such terrible power. Can we even win? We got no choice. Battle routine set. Execute. Ready or not. I have never actually done this event. Okay, we got regular base. 1,000... Uh... 1,500. So I can cross change and do my normal my normal strategies, I guess. I don't think that will change the actual... It won't be like base cross Tomahawk Man. That would be weird. Yeah, I think the charge shot for power is this move if you were playing Team Pro Man. Okay. I don't have super armor. Let's try... Let's, let's get rid of these. Let's just get rid of them. Yeah, I hit it three times. Okay, we're going number soul. And we're gonna confuse him. Yeah, you're confused now, base. Okay. We could Chaos Lord him. We could just Chaos Lord. Um, is that what I want to do? Yeah, big damage, I guess. Now, granted, I have no clue if you have to actually be in base cross form or just have it in the game. You could maybe turn it off for all I know. And I missed, of course. Of course I missed. Why would I not miss? Um, I should give him some chips. Like that. He can't Actually, how, he doesn't have air shoes. That's L. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was gonna do cactus dance, but here we have program advance bodyguard. This is fun. Bodyguard, get out of here, base. Is it the real thing? Interesting. If you can retain that power, then perhaps we shall meet again someday. So that's why this platform was always like this. It kind of felt like it was being used for nothing, but it's meant for base. Okay. He's gone. That was too close. Yeah. We somehow won this time, but the next... I have a little more have a little more confidence, will ya? I'm sure we'll be even stronger the next time. Right. And that's that on that side. 
But... Oh, I see. There is one more event we can do right now. For this. Let's go all the way to Nebula Area 4. <laughs> I know, we have to go all the way back. But apparently you could do that base fight in Chapter 5. So, that would be during the Number Man scenario, I think? Kind of interesting that you could, do, you could do that section that early. Alright, let's go to Nebula 4. There's one more event we can do. I won't put Sneak Run back in. Wait, do I? I have Sneak Run, right? Or do I have... No, I, I have Air Shoes, never mind. Okay. We're making another trip. Untrap. Let's see if I could buy that program. So yeah, honestly, there are not really many problems with base cross Mega Man, like in general. The drawback being the two less Mega Chips is the only problem. I thought there would be more to it, like more drawbacks to consider. No, this set honestly isn't that bad. It's kind of a fun, like, different way to play. Fuck stop. There we go. Well, I still need to buy a few more programs. I got all the ones that I need at the moment. Without bug frags. Anyway. Alright, let's head to Nebula 4. Yes, open the door to Merkland. I guess one thing we're gonna find out now is is everything level three now, or do I have to open the door, the, uh, the second door again? Let's grab all green mystery data out along the way. No, they're level three. They are level three, all right. Taking that with me. Again, I need like 200 something bug frags. Just to buy everything else that I'm missing. Well, I can get most of them this way. Okay. Oh, it targeted Dark Mega Man for a second there. Oh, wow, it was just staying on him for a while. See that? It was holding on to him. Okay, it hits three times, I think, per enemy.
that. Let's go this way. No, not, not this teleporter. Keep getting that confused, honestly. Man, base cross Mega Man, I don't know. Like, I thought it would just give you the option as, like, a soul change. I didn't necessarily think it would change his base form. Like this. I didn't fully know what to expect, though, so... It is interesting. I think that uh, whenever I personally get to Team Proto Man, I might play the entire game in Base Cross and just have a different unique playthrough. In this scenario, yeah, it will get, it will eventually go through. Eventually goes through. However, see now, like, the charge shot will not go because it will always go on the front of their panel. It's, uh, it's never gonna actually hit, hit them. I, I think I will run. So you basically have to rely on normal buster pellets for that. Anti-Navi M. Or just other chips. What do we got here? Green mystery data, and what is it? Far sword, okay. Nothing. Nothing important. Yeah, I'm not sure which form would actually be more fun to play, though. I haven't put, I haven't tried out the other one. Okay, what have we got? I can get rid of one that's a, that was a cool image for full synchro oh, okay. um I guess we'll go with Scully. Essentially, that hit that hits for right now 120 damage. It doesn't seem to stagger them though. At least not from what I can tell. So it could easily they could easily get out of it. I think. try, but I'm probably not gonna, probably not gonna get it. Uh... Yeah. I don't know how I was supposed to get that. So fun to use. Nebula 4. 
Okay, we made it here. Square via invisible path. I forget where that was. Might have been past the... The... What was it? It's probably past like the mega chip door or something. Let's take a look. I think I have an idea of where it's at. There's a hidden pathway somewhere we have to cross. Now we're done. Not really the best fight to really try for anything. Over here? I actually have no idea where this hidden pathway is. Anything? It's really just a dead end? Nothing else? Okay. Actually, there might have been a blue mystery data there or something. Let's take a look. Is it up here? No. This is the HP memory door. There would be a hidden pathway here. This is just a dead end. Yeah. Okay. Might as well grab that. Zenny. At least there's no navvies here to worry about. Isn't there something like over here? No? Oh, this way. Yeah, this always, this seemed weird to me, too. Nothing here. Let's go back, then. I don't think so. Who's there? What's this feeling? It, it can't be. Well done so far. But this time, it shall be different. He's much stronger than before. Brace yourself. L Lan, okay, we're stronger than before, too. Let's show him what we can do. Power routine set, execute. This shall be fun. Actually, I'm not really any stronger than before. Base alpha. Let's start with a number soul and go from there. 2,000 HP, you got an extra 500. Oh, wow, he, like, didn't know where to aim. Confusion's a lot more fun, fun than I thought. Um, let's just use these up. That move again. Whatever. Uh, two Scullies. it this last time in the form I think what we'll do is we'll set up tomahawk we'll use all of this
too soon, too soon. Let's heal up. these up. Done. Get out of here, base. You're not as strong as you used to be. It helps that he doesn't have his life aura. <laughs> I never imagined you could beat me after my power increased. But as long as I am in this area, I'll absorb dark power and regenerate over and over again. And each time I shall gain more and more power. Do not forget, I shall return over and over again. I shall delete you yet. That base was one scary opponent. Y yeah. Hey, aren't you... Aren't your current custom settings based on base's power? Y yeah. I'm worried that your soul will be taken by darkness, just like base. Don't worry, I'm not going to give in to the dark power. After all, I have you here with me, Lan. Mega Man, you're right. We could get stronger without the dark power. We could do it as long as we're together. Of course we can. Now let's go strike down darkness. That is all you can do with base cross stuff. Those events only happen when you're in the current form, it looks like. Specifically because he said, you know, it's based on base's form, so. Yeah. So with that in mind, I can put my folder kind of back where it was. It's probably at the very bottom. I don't think I'll, like, it was fun to mess around with, but I don't think I'll use it much more than that. Uh, what else did I throw in? Was it Shadow Man? It was Shadow Man. Alright. With that in mind, that's done. Okay. Okay. So with side quests, there was the the base stuff, chip trading, which I already did. Comp switches, yep. Heal navvies, yep. Hide and seek, yep. Quiz battle, yep. Nebula ID, yep. Okay, that's all of those. Uh, Navicus. All right, you know what? Let's start messing around with Navicus and then, yeah, let's do Navicus stuff. Very quick. Well, not very quick. I'm just gonna remove everything. I may not have all of them yet. But we'll take care of what we can. So apparently compression is a thing in this game. It wasn't in four. So you have to hold right on the D-pad. Then you have to do 10 inputs. Okay. So in for, for super armor, R, A, B, R, A, L L R B A for custom one. No wait, it's right. A A R L B A B A L B. Custom two. B A R L L R A L B R. Mega folder. B B A B B R R. L A R. Make a folder two. L A B B L B A A L L. I don't have Giga folder one. We'll get that later, and we'll compress it later. First barrier or fast barrier? No, first barrier. R L A B B A R A L R. A B A R A L R B B A L L R B L L A A L B 
Super Reflex is not that good anymore. Anti-damage. R, B, B. A, R, B, R. A, R, B. I don't have Float Shoe. Not yet. <clears throat> Air Shoes. B, L, B. A, B, L. B, B, A, A. Under Shirt. This was really important. A, R, B, B, R, L. R, A, L, A. R L L A L L B A B B L B R A R L A B L B. Well, that was oil body. Now for fish. B A B A L R A R A A. Battery. A A B R A B R L L R. Jungle. L R L A B L B B L A. Okay, for collect, uh, <clears throat> B R A L A R B A A B. I don't have millions. Humor. A B L A R A B L R L. Chivalry. R R B B R B R B A A. I don't have auto run, and even if I did, it doesn't doesn't have one because it's already a single tile. Auto heal. R L R L R B B R A B. Buster pack. Oh, it's plus three to all three stats. Okay, that's what it does. <clears throat> L L R A R L B L A R Body Pack Super Armor Undershirt Float Shoes Air Shoes B A R A B R L R R A Look at that, that takes up so much. Like is it even worth it? Bug stop B A B L A B R L R B Soul Cleanse. Soul Cleanse cannot be uh, uh, compressed, apparently. Rush. R B L R B R L L R L. Beat. A B B R A A B R B R. And then Tango. L B L A B L A B A L. I think that's all the compression. Oh no, that there is more you can do. Attack max. L L L R R B A R B L. And then speed max. R A R L L R R A B A. Charge max. Um, A L R A A R B R B A R. Is that it? Okay, yes. That is all that I could do at the moment. Obviously, uh, I'm missing a couple programs. I'll do them when I grab them. Might as well put my stuff. Kind of back. How much does... Wow, that takes up a lot. Throwing in charge max might not be the worst idea. Anyway. Let me grab... Undershirt... Air shoes. Undershirt. There you are. Start with that. It would have to fit here. Or... Okay, there has to be the way to make this work. Can I get custom 2? That would be better. Oh, I can't make it work, can I? Oh, no, I can. There's that. 
It's too bad I can't get that in there. Alright, um... I'll probably just put my attacks in. Collect, humor, chivalry. Soul friends beat Tango. Okay, my attack stuff. Oh, now this is worse. I won't be able to get that attack in. That's for sure. You know what? Do I even need custom 2? Actually, what about the max ones? Not attack. Speed max. Charge max. I could throw charge max. And then throw my attacks in. And then can I get custom one again? There we go. So I got my three attacks in. Can I get... I can get speed max in. Hold on. Not that I really care about speed max, but... Hey, let's take a look. I think I did everything, right? My attack is level 4, speed and charge are maxed out. And I still have air shoes... And custom one. That's not the worst. All right, let me double check a few things. So at the moment, we'll, we're done with Navi Customizer. We're done with that. So I think it's now up to S ranking Navi's. I think that's now the main goal. We have all this. We have all that. Can't do that yet. And the rest are the SP chips, and we need to S rank everyone. Alright. I think we kind of know what we need to do now. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. On my own time, I'll do money and bug frag grinding on my own if I get time. Hopefully I'll try to get some of it in. We need to use the money to buy, I guess, whatever programs are left over. And really HP memories. And we need a lot of bug frags. What did I type down? Like 200? 254. We need a lot of bug frags. I'll try to do that on my own time. But after that, other than that, now we need to go after this, uh, the SP chips and get the S ranks. That will be the main goal. And that's all we could do. All right. Have a good day. Later.